junior hockey strength workout. For this workout, you will need three bits of equipment. You will need a bag filled with some water bottles or filled with some books, something that adds just a little bit of weight. Uh, the more books, the more water you put in, the heavier the bag, you choose something that's close to what you will need. You will also need two towels, a bath towel and a tea towel or hand towel um, that will help you with the exercises that you're going to do. In the workout there is a two day split workout. Day one you do on its own on a Monday for example and day two you can do on a Tuesday or Wednesday later in the week. On day one you have six exercises that you do in sequence A1 through to A6. Take the rest at the bottom, go back to the top and repeat for the four sets. Also make sure to have done the warm up before you start into each of the two days. So, day one, A block. Exercise A1, the wall sit. Go to the wall, place your hips against the wall, shoulders against the wall, head against the wall, and keep those three things against the wall for the entirety of the exercise. Place your feet out away from the wall with your feet parallel, toes facing straight ahead, and make sure your heels also stay on the ground for the period of the exercise. Just before you start, sink till your thighs are parallel with the floor. Start the watch. Hold for the allotted time. Head, shoulders, hips against the wall, heels on the ground with feet parallel. Don't let the knees come together. Keep them parallel. Best place for your hands is on your chest. Try not to push down and hold on your legs. When you're finished with the allotted time, come out of the wall sit and straight into A2, the single leg squat. Place one foot on the floor, making sure the toe is pointing dead straight ahead. Balance on the leg and place the same side hand on the hip. Place the opposite hand out in front of you. It is going to touch down. Perform the single leg squat by sinking three, two, one. Touch the big toe and stand up, squeezing your glutes and your thighs. I need you to control your knee as you sink. Don't let it dive inside. Keep it in line with your hip and foot. Keep your torso upright, sinking all the time with your hip and knees into each rep. Sinking down, touch, squeeze on the way back up. When you've done that, make sure to repeat the same amount of reps on both sides. Next, you're gonna need that bath towel. Come out into a place. I have the end of the banisters here where I hook it on and I hold the ends of the bath towel. The further out I hold the towel, the further I will go, the harder the exercise. I stand with my feet in close to the stairs. I hold on, keeping my shoulder blades together, knees locked out, hips locked out and my body in a straight line from my ear to my ankles. I use my hands to lower myself down for three, two, one, pull in, squeeze my shoulder blades together and then slowly out, three, two, one and then pull up, hold and slowly down, three, two, one. Thank you. Next you're going to need your weighted bag, Russian twists, A4. Sit on the floor, heels on the ground, and roll back to feel your abs nice and tight. Lift the feet off the ground to hold balance, twist and touch, keep your legs nice and still, twist your shoulders with nice straight arms to touch the weighted bag off the floor each side for the allotted amount of reps. Don't let yourself sit up, stay length back in, holding nice and tight through the core. Exercise A5, push-ups. If you are unable to do this one on the floor, do it on a chair or on a worktop. The further up off the ground you go, the easier it becomes. 
push-ups, A5. Place your hands on the floor, just wider than shoulder width apart. Come up onto your toes and activate your core like you're doing a plank. Keep your body nice and straight as you descend. Three, two, one, and push for one. Three, two, one, and push for one. Don't leave the bum behind or let the bum sag and make sure that as you drop to the floor, it's the middle of your chest that is falling between your hands. The same rules apply if you're doing it on the chair. Three, two, one, and push to the top. Same rules apply. Moving on to the last one of day one, exercise A6, the jump squats. Heels on the floor, feet facing straight ahead. Okay, sink into a squat and do your repeat squat jumps. For the allotted reps, making sure that when you land, you will land balls of the feet first, then heels down, and then absorb into your hip and knees, keeping your torso upright. Don't let the knees come together or go apart. And it's the same as you take off. Try to make sure that the knees don't go together. Keeping that alignment is really important. After you've repeated, after you've done that A6 exercise, the jumps, you're then going to take a rest for a minute before you go back to the top, start at the wall sit and work your day, way down through the six exercises, taking a break at the end and then repeating, as I said before, four rounds. That's day one. Day two, we're moving on to a new workout on another day. Same style, circuit, B1 to B6 and repeat four times. So, the first exercise is a weighted reverse lunge. You'll take the bag, hold it in front of your chest. Again, load it up, probably a little bit more than we did for the Russian twists. Put an extra bottle of water in there to add a little bit of extra weight. Holding it in front of your chest. Feet parallel, hip distance apart. Take a large stride back, ending up on the ball of your foot. Sink down slowly, three, two, one to touch your knee off the floor and come to the top. Alternate leg, step back, drop down, tip and lift. Don't let your torso fall forward as you come down. Keep it up nice and vertical and don't fall into your front knee or let your heel come off the ground. Make sure that heel is firmly on the ground. And when you get to the bottom, there's pretty much 90 degrees at both knees before coming to the top. Repeat for the allotted amount of reps. Exercise B2, ice skaters. Finding a bit of space that you can jump side to side, step to your left and stand on your left foot. Repeating the ice skater side to side, the same rules apply as the single leg squat with the alignment of your foot and knee, making sure they stay nice and straight. Keep your torso up and your hips low. Start there and jump side to side, nailing the landing on each side. Jump as far as you can control for the allotted amount of reps. Exercise B3, dip, chair dips. Place your hands on the chair right at the very edge. Lift your bum just off the seat and bring your shoulder blades together, keeping your chest proud. Slowly dip till your elbows get to 90 degrees, upper arm parallel with the floor, and push back to the top. The further your heels are away, the harder the exercise. Always making sure three seconds down and one second up. Moving on to exercise B4, the floor YTWs. Lie face down on the floor, nose and toes on the ground. Place your arms up in the Y position to start. Pull your shoulder blades together. That lifts your arms. Bring it to the T. Repeat, squeezing the shoulder blades together and shoulders back and down away from the ears. And then into the W shape. Repeat once again. Squeeze and release. That's one rep, and then start again. Y, T, W, that's two reps. And third rep, Y, T, W. 
and repeat for the allotted amount of reps. Next you will need the hand towel and ideally a slippy floor, a lino floor, a wood floor is ideal for this exercise. Fold the towel so that you're able to place it underneath your heels. Lie on your back on the floor with your heels on the towel. Place your head and shoulders on the ground. Lift your hips up into the air to start the exercise. And keeping the hips off the floor, straighten your legs out, sliding the towel away from you, and then slide it back in. Keep the hips elevated all the time. Don't let the bum touch the ground when the legs are out straight, and pull it in. Slowly out, and pull. Slowly out, and pull. Working the hamstrings at the back of the legs. Finally, we finish with a jump squat with the single leg catch for B6. Start on two feet, jump, and land on one. Nail your landing. Start on two, jump off two, land on one. Jump off two, land on one. Every time you land, hold for two seconds and make sure that the foot is straight, knee is in line, hip is in line, torso upright, absorb into your hip and legs. As I said before, day two, B1 down to B6, repeat four times.